The potential characters for Combat Pack 3 have been revealed by the most active data miner in the Mortal Kombat community. This includes cameo fighters and fully playable characters, but not all of them are guaranteed. So since I have a solid track record of predicting future characters, let's discuss which characters are most likely to make the cut. Because another day means more Mortal Kombat 1 news. I'm covering it all the time on this channel, so if you want to stay up to date, then make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss any future videos. And then after watching, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below, it helps the channel out a ton. And without any further ado, let's begin. This image from Interloco showcases which characters could return for Combat Pack 3. And actually, he's got a full video on this topic that I highly recommend you check out on his channel. Once again, that's Interloco, and he's the most active data miner in the Mortal Kombat 1 community. And according to him, these characters are most likely to return in Combat Pack 3. However, as mentioned earlier, not every character is going to make the cut. So let's begin with characters that I do not think are going to return as separate playable characters. First up, we gotta talk about Cobra, because this guy's already in the game technically. He's Ghostface's partner, along with Kira, for anyone not aware. I think at this point everybody knows this, but in case you don't, Ghostface is actually three separate characters. There's the main Ghostface, but then also Kira and Cobra that you can switch between at any point during the gameplay. Or in other words, Cobra is already in the game, and I don't think Netherrealm's gonna put him in the game twice. Which means he's not gonna be a fully playable character, and I also don't think he's going to be a cameo character either. If anything, we're lucky that Cobra made it into the game at all, because he's a very unpopular 3D era character, which is why I pretty much can guarantee he's not going to return for Combat Pack 3. But real quick, for anyone watching who does not think this is Cobra, just check out the source code for Mortal Kombat 1 itself. That's right, even the game itself labels this character as Cobra, so for anybody who wants to argue with me in the comments section, you're wasting your breath. We know for a fact this character is Cobra, he's just wearing the ghost face outfit. He's in disguise. But okay, next up, let's talk about Triborg. As everybody watching already knows, Sector and Cyrax are already in the game as fully playable characters. In fact, they're in the game twice as cameo characters. And as a result, I think it's very unlikely that Triborg is going to return in any way, shape, or form. We also already have Smoke in the game as well. And sure, it's the human Smoke and not Cyber Smoke, but even so, the gameplay would be very similar. So in other words, all three characters that Triborg normally represents are already in the game, so adding him to the roster would be very redundant. And that's why I don't think Netherrealm's gonna do it. Even as a cameo character, it would not make any sense to put Triborg in the game. We've already got Sector and Cyrax as fully playable characters and cameo characters, and also we've already got Smoke in the game too. Sure, it's the human version, but you get my point. So next up, let's talk about Su Hao. I would personally love if this character returned, and I'm not being sarcastic. Go Ghostface has proven to me that Netherrealm can take any character and make them incredibly fun to play. So I have no doubt they can make Su Hao an interesting character as well, but with that all said, I just don't think he's popular enough to return. Which is unfortunate because I do think he deserves a second shot, but I'm not the person in charge of who makes the cut in the game. It all comes down to Netherrealm Studios at the end of the day, and several people working there actually worked at Midway, and those developers confirmed they don't like Su Hao as a character, which explains why he's dead at the very start of Aaron Black's intro. The sad reality is this character is hated by the developers themselves, so that combined with his unpopularity makes it seem very unlikely that Su Hao is ever going to return to Mortal Kombat 1, even as a cameo character. But you know what? I'll keep my fingers crossed because that's the best shot he's got at being in this game. But real quick, just for fun, and because I love making these videos interactive, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Which characters do you not want to return in Mortal Kombat 1, as in which Mortal Kombat character is your least favorite and you don't want them to return to the game for any reason whatsoever. So that includes a cameo character or as a fully playable fighter. You don't want this character back in any way, shape, or form. Let me know in the comment section which character that is for you. Because I do feel bad shooting down these characters because I have no doubt that some of them are a person's favorite. Even though they're unpopular and unwanted, there's gotta be at least one Mortal Kombat player out there who loves these characters, but even so, I don't think they're gonna be in the game. So so next up, let's talk about the characters who I do think might actually return in Mortal Kombat 1. They've got a chance. First up, we have Jarek, who seems like an unlikely pick until you realize that there's literally no Black Dragon member in the game yet as a fully playable character. We've only got cameo fighters at this point, like Kano, and then you have Movado, or actually he might be a Red Dragon member. And even though Kira and Cobra are technically in the game because they fight along Ghostface, they're not really showing themselves, right? So 
not great representation for the Black Dragons. And as a result, I think it's Jarek's time to shine. If you're not going to have Kano in the game, then Jarek is the perfect person to be there instead. And since Mortal Kombat 1 is a giant love letter to the 3D era, and MK4 is 3D, I think it makes perfect sense to put Jarek in this game, just like Tanya. Because once again, we need a Black Dragon member in this game, and if Jarek does not make it into Mortal Kombat 1, I'm worried he'll never be in a Mortal Kombat game, because we're just going to get Kano instead. We're lucky enough that Kano sat out one game and left the spot open for Jarek. If he's not in this game, I don't think he'll be in the sequel, I'm just saying. But next up, let's talk about Nightwolf. Because everybody wants this character back, he's a fan favorite, although there are some rumors that maybe this time around, Nightwolf could be a woman, as that was foreshadowed in Mortal Kombat 11, and unlike Sector and Cyrax, Nightwolf's name actually is a mantle. It's not his actual name, and as a result, a woman could be Nightwolf, however, if Netherrealm was considering that, I bet that now they're probably not going to do it since fans were pretty negative towards Sector and Cyrax being women. Even though their gameplay was incredible, the fact is when you changed characters like this for no reason, especially fan favorite characters, it can have some blowback. I don't think it was a crazy big deal, but also I think it was dumb for Netherrealm to do it because there was no real upside to that change. And the same thing would happen with Nightwolf, but I'm just saying I do believe Netherrealm at one point was planning to make Nightwolf a chick in the future games. And on top of being a fan favorite character, Nightwolf would also be a great fit in this game because so far nobody else is using soul magic, which I think is interesting. In Mortal Kombat 11, there were several characters that actually fight with soul magic, but in this game, there's nobody, and as a result, Nightwolf would fit perfectly. He'd be very unique. And in fact, I think Nightwolf would also be the only archer in Mortal Kombat 1 as well, which would also make him a great fit, unlike in Mortal Kombat 11, where there was several characters that fired bow and arrows. Okay, next up, let's talk about Jade, because this one is an obvious pick. Just like Nightwolf, she is a fan favorite character, but on top of that, she is name dropped and mentioned in this game so many times. I believe in the intro dialogues alone, there's five different references to Jade. So to me, it seems like Netherrealm definitely did want to add this character to the game at some point, but maybe they went back on it or decided to change their minds. I have no idea, but to me, I feel like Jade at some point was definitely planned to be in this game, and fans definitely want her to return. Now with that all being said, I've actually made a full video saying why I don't think that Jade is going to be in Mortal Kombat 1, so make sure to check it out if you have already. And also, do me a favor and watch until the very end, because almost everybody posting a top comment in that video clearly did not watch the entire thing, because if they did, then they wouldn't have left those comments, and also those comments would not be getting so many thumbs up and upvotes, because I literally deconfirmed their comment in my video, but they didn't watch the full thing. I digress, my point is that that video explains in detail all the reasons why I don't think Jade is going to return in Mortal Kombat 1. Would I be happy if it happens? Absolutely, Jade is one of my favorite characters, and since the game was announced, I really did think that Jade was going to come back. And I was also very excited for Jade to return as well, but after all the evidence kept coming out, I really do have a feeling that Netherrealm is saving Jade for the sequel, and this could actually happen with Nightwolf as well. I do believe that Netherrealm wants to save some heavy hitters for the sequel in this new timeline. That way it's kind of like a catchy reason to buy the sequel, right? Think about all the Sonya fans and diehard Jade fans and Nightwolf fans who are just itching to play the character and they can't in this game but the sequel comes out and announces those characters right away that's a guaranteed way to get sales it's a great marketing strategy too and i think that might be what netherrealm's doing they're saving some heavy hitting fan favorites like jade for the sequel which is why they're not going to be in mortal kombat 1. all right but now last but not least let's talk about blaze because this is an interesting idea i think this character could definitely return in mortal kombat 1 or at the very least be a cameo character if he's not a fully playable fighter. However, if that does happen, I don't think it's going to be the gigantic boss form of Blaze. Instead, I think it's going to be his more humanoid version that we saw in Deadly Alliance, and also at certain key points during Deception's Conquest mode as well. I think that version of Blaze has a much higher chance of returning to Mortal Kombat 1. And also, it would be a really interesting fit and choice for the game, if I'm being honest with you. Now, do I think it's likely that he's going to return? Would Netherrealm actually pick Blaze to be in this game? 
I'm gonna say it's about 50-50. Or in other words, is there an equal chance he'll be in the game or not be in the game? Either scenario is equally possible. But it would be really cool if Netherrealm put Blaze in the game because he's actually never been a fully playable character in the competitive sense. Yes, you could unlock him by beating Armageddon and, and then play as him that way, but he's never been a competitively tournament viable character. So I would love if Netherrealm finally did that, very similar to what they've done with Shao Kahn and Goro and other characters that used to just be boss characters or at the very least were banned from tournaments but then in later games they were actually tournament viable and just regular characters. I want that to happen to Blaze. But there you have it everyone, the characters that I think are least likely and most likely to return in Combat Pack 3 for Mortal Kombat 1. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like down below, it helps the channel out a ton. And then keep that combo going by subscribing and ringing that bell so you never miss any future videos. Make sure to come back next time and as always, stay underdogs. <laughs>